Now, your weather alert forecast. I'm meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin. We have some changes moving in this weekend, bringing in at least some cooler temperatures. Now, initially, it's still going to be on the warm side, at least for parts of eastern Nebraska, western Iowa. Cold front will keep dropping to the south. As it passes through, the winds will go from the south to the north. But a lot of this won't be occurring until the afternoon hours, so we managed to actually warm it up before this cold front completely moves through the region. We will have plenty of cloud cover around, but this system comes through dry, so it's more of a wind shift than anything else. Even though it keeps us with a little bit of cloud cover, temperatures throughout the afternoon will be quite a range from 60 degrees in Wayne to 63 in Norfolk. We have some mid 60s, upper 60s from Fremont to Columbus. But before the front completely moves through into the southern half of the state, we're looking at high temperatures over the Omaha Metro in the mid to even upper 70s all the way into Fall City. The winds once again will shift from the north 5 10 miles an hour, so it won't be extremely strong winds. But the cooler air really hangs in here, sort of settles in over the region by Sunday. We're looking at a high temperature of 65. But before we wrap up the month and for your Halloween, it is going to be definitely a treat with afternoon high temperatures in the upper 70s. A very warm end of the month. And for you trick or treaters, it looks like a really nice day. We have another front, though, that will be passing through late Monday into Tuesday. That will bring in afternoon highs, drop them back into the upper 60s. There is a slight chance for some rain Tuesday into Wednesday, but this doesn't look like a significant rainmaker for the area. Temperatures will begin to cool off a little bit more by the tail end of next week. So as we head into the month of November, temperatures are still going to be unseasonably warm for this time of the year. Even though we have a chance for some showers in the forecast here as we go into early next week, there's no threat for severe thunderstorms, but always a good thing to have StormShield app on hand so you know when severe weather does develop.